टू द पार्ट थ्री ऑफ सेल्स फोर्स एसोसिएट एम सी क्यूज सो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर गिविंग मी सच एन अमेजिंग रिस्पॉन्स ऑन ऑल द वीडियोज दैट आई हैव अपलोडेड अबाउट यू नो दीज एग्जाम एंड इफ यू नीड मी टू वर्क ऑन एनी अदर एग्जाम क्वेश्चन और एम सी क्यूज प्लीज कमेंट डाउन बिलो आई ट्राई टू अकोमोडेट दैम इन यू नो माई यूट्यूब चैनल एज सुन एज पॉसिबल सो लेट इज जस्ट स्टार्ट विथ सो वॉट इज द पर्पज ऑफ स्कीमा बिल्डर सो स्कीमा बिल्डर इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक सो ओवर हियर वी हैव फोर ऑप्शन टू क्रिएट कस्टम ऑब्जेक्ट्स फील्ड्स एंड रिलेशनशिप टू एनालाइज डेटा इन सेल्स फोर्स टू बिल्ड वर्क फ्लो इन सेल्स फोर्स टू क्रिएट रिपोर्ट इन सेल्स फोर्स सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर ए द स्कीमा बिल्डर वी पर्टिकुलरली यूज टू क्रिएट कस्टम फील्ड्स ऑब्जेक्ट्स एंड रिलेशनशिप इफ इफ नॉट द स्कीमा बिल्डर इज ऑल्सो यूजफुल वेन यू वॉन्ट टू विजुअलाइज हाउ द ऑब्जेक्ट्स आर यू नो कनेक्टेड टू अदर ऑब्जेक्ट्स एंड यू नो थिंग्स बट बिफोर वी मूव अ हेड आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू मेक इट वेरी क्लियर टू यू दैट वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज ऑब्जेक्ट फील्ड एंड रिलेशनशिप सो ऑब्जेक्ट इज बेसिकली टेबल्स If you are very familiar with database management, you must be aware that we have multiple, uh, you know, tables inside a database, and they are connected to each other through keys, primary key, foreign key, key, and stuff. So over here, it's it's like analogous to it, not exactly same. So relationships are the way the tables are connected. the tables are known as objects and the columns that each you know object has is known as fields so do not get confused when you you know see these three words and we will talk about type of relationships in other videos so the answer is option number a so uh, you know this is the purpose of uh, schema builder to create custom objects fields and relationship so it also allows you to easily modify your data model and see how objects are related to each other so basically it's a visual representation again this is a similar kind of question what you can do with schema builder and the options that we have is option number a create custom objects fields and relationship as we discussed analyze data in salesforce build workflow and create reports so uh, again the option is a it's kind of a similar question only now question number 28 what is a field in schema builder so i just told you that object is our tables fields are the columns that reside within a table and the relationship that we have between two objects the way two objects are connected is known as relationships so what is a field in schema builder is option number a a column in a table that holds the data so it's it's just like you know it it can be a text number date pick list field like for example if you have a, a you know object of opportunities and you want to update the information if you want to add more information to it like if you want to save the number of the client the phone number of the client the name of the client or anything else you can update the object by adding a field the relevant field question number 29 what is a relationship in schema builder a connection between two objects a formula used to calculate data a chart used to visualize data a row in the table that holds the data so as we discussed you know uh, before that relationship is connection between two tables so the answer is option number a so what do we what we learned we learned about schema builder like schema builder helps you customize and visualize objects relationships between them and the fields within them we understood what exactly are fields fields are the column that objects hold what are relationship relationship is connection between two objects so by now we are clear with what exactly are these four things 
Now, what is the purpose of a look-up relationship in Schema Builder? So, as I told you before, we have different types of relationship in, in you know, Salesforce. And these are part of Salesforce Associate exam. So, over here we have four options. To create a relationship between two objects. To create a parent-child relationship between two objects. To create a many-to-many -many relationship between two objects. And the last option that we have is to create a relationship between a custom object and a standard object. So option number D is very specific and very uh, like, you know, when you read option number D, you know, it's very specific, but the answer has to be something very general. So option D is not the answer. And then we have to create many to many relationship. No, lookup is not, you know, many to many then we have parent child relationship okay the parent child relationship is called as master detail relationship in salesforce then we are left with option number a to create a relationship between two objects so it's correct the purpose of a lookup relationship in schema builder is to create relationship between two objects it allows you to link two records two objects, two records to one another. So like whenever you want to connect, you know, two specific records or if you want to connect the whole two objects, you can use lookup relationships in Schema Builder to do so. Question number 31. Now we are moving ahead to another topic that is non-profit in Salesforce. Non-profit is part of the curriculum you can, you know, get a question on it and the topics are very easy. So let us just start with them by seeing this question. What is the Salesforce org non-profit cloud? So now we have four options over here. A cloud-based platform designed specifically for non-profit organizations. Option number B, a suite of products for managing donors and fundraising data. C, a tool for tracking volunteer hours. Definitely option number C is incorrect. A software for managing corporate social responsibility program. So Salesforce does not give you a, you know, extended software out there. So option number D is also incorrect. Now we are left with option number A and option number B. So a cloud Bay platform designed specifically for non-profit organization is the correct answer. So option number A is correct. The Salesforce org non-profit cloud is a cloud-based platform designed specifically for non-profit organization. It helps non-profit manage their operations, fundraising and constitute data. If you want to learn more about non-profit and what Salesforce has to offer, you can anytime refer their website and understand more about it. Okay, you can pause the slide if you want to read the explanation or cross check the answer. I have tried to provide this particular slide after every question that we have. Now question number 32. What is the non-profit success pack in the Salesforce org non-profit cloud? So we understood what is non-profit cloud. Non-profit cloud is a, a cloud offering by Salesforce that helps organization to manage their operations, fundraising and constraint data. Now we want to know what is the non-profit success pack in Salesforce org for non-profit cloud. So we have four options here again. A tool for tracking volunteer hours. Definitely incorrect option. Then we have BCD. A suit of products for managing donors and fundraising data. C. A cloud-based platform designed specifically for non-profit organization. Option number C is incorrect. Even if, you know, a profit organization, if they want to do something related to such noble causes, they can still opt for non-profit cloud in Salesforce. Option number D. A feature for managing non-profit programs and services. So it's not a feature. So the right answer is option number B. Okay. So 
a suite of products for managing donors and fundraising data. So exactly this NPSP, the non-profit success pack is a suite of products for managing donors and fundraising data in Salesforce org. You know, when you will, if you'll read more about it, you'll understand it. It has management tools. It has engagement management tools. You can create auctions using them. You can create donorship programs using them. Now let's move to question number 33. What is the main purpose of Salesforce platform? If you're observing, you're observing that I have added many basic basic questions in this series since we are just at the start at the beginning you know i just want you to be comfortable with the terms like when you hear npsp what exactly it is when you hear um, objects what it is when you hear look up what it is when you hear field what it is that is the reason i have tried to start the playlist with atomic questions that are very basic and you know low level as you will go ahead in the series you know the definitely you will get atomic questions there too but these questions don't consider these questions irrelevant it is very important for you to understand the basics first if you want to answer difficult questions in examination so moving ahead what is the main purpose of salesforce platform so we have uh, four options here to provide a scalable and secure infrastructures for building to build and run their application to provide ready to use crm to provide a set of tools for managing social media accounts to provide a cloud-based email marketing service option number d is incorrect Salesforce is not just restricted to the email marketing service. Option number C is also incorrect. It is not just, you know, set till social media marketing. Option number B is also correct. It is not a ready to use CRM. You have to customize it according to your need. Option number A is correct. They provide a scalable and secure infrastructure for business to build and run their application. So, you know, in Salesforce, we have CRM, we have custom applications, we have integrations, we have other tools, we have app exchange, which you can use for email marketing service. And we have many different uh, applications that Salesforce provide, which, which is related to the social media accounts. So the correct answer is option number A. Now, what is a sandbox in context of Salesforce platform? So this is again a very important question. In the examination, they can give you a scenario and they can ask you what type of developer tool the person has to use. Do they have to create an org? Do they have to use a sandbox? So just to understand, you know, uh, this thing, I've added this question. So what is a sandbox? We have again four options, a testing environment, for developing and testing new applications or changes to existing ones. Option number B, a tool for managing customer data. Option number C, a tool for automating business processes. Option number D, D a tool for creating custom reports in dashboard. Option number D is incorrect. We do not use sandbox for creating custom reports in dashboard and it is not used for automating business processes. And again, it is not used for managing customer data. Sandbox is something that you can use as a testing environment. So if in Salesforce, if you want to deploy to production, or if you want to try your application on Salesforce, a sandbox is a good option to start with. Yeah. Now moving ahead to question number 35. This is a repeated question. So what is the maximum number of rows a report can display? Just remember the answer is 2000 rows. Okay. So the Salesforce report builder allows you to display up to 2000 rows of data in a report. However, 
keep in mind that displaying too many rows of data in a single report can cause performance issue. So it's just a disclaimer ahead. But remember, if you see this question in exam, just remember the answer is 2000. So thank you for, you know, watching all the videos and stuff. If you want to know more about me, you can follow me on Instagram. And if you ever want to reach out to me, you can mail me on this email address. Other than that, all my links and my different email IDs are present in the description. If you ever want to reach out to me, feel free. Thank you so much for watching. And I will definitely keep up with coming more parts of it. You cannot just get done with, you know, Salesforce associate by just solving 35 MCQs. I'll try to put out maximum content that I can. Yeah. Thank you.